from the command center JW Solo USA. Today's video just want to show you I have a massive order upgrade right on the um, command center right here in Minnesota. So this is the uh, Flexmax 80 made by Outback Power Systems and uh, JW Solar is back on track with different stuff. The reason why I'm doing this upgrade is just because it doesn't mean my Flex Max 60 is not doing the job. It's doing an awesome job. It has been doing a, a good job for over a year or something. But the thing is, I want to maximize and increase the power for my um, system is so that I can able to add more panels into um, this Flex Max 80. Okay? So if you're just tuning in, you're welcome to JW Solo USA. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. The Flex Max 80, I'm going to be reading the specs for you guys to see how this device can handle or what they can handle on different um, voltage nominum, which is a 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60 volt DC battery system. You can use this one for lithium. Um, ion batteries you can use this for Tesla power wall because you can able to regulate the te um, the voltage and amperage from your solar array and it has a uh, uh, is an IN machine with a battery compensation temperature compensation so you uh, can monitor the temperature of your batteries how it's charging the batteries so they can overheat them you can put this into a mate three mate two and grid tide off grid backup system so this thing can do all i know you guys have seen a lot of videos out there but this is um another video for you guys from jw solar usa stay tuned from my previous um flex max um 60 um you can i can only put uh, 900 watts on a 12 volt system and 24 volts is a 1800 48 volts is 3600 60 volts is 4500 um, NEC National Electric Company recommendation for solar array standard test condition uh, name plates so um, this is the reason because on 24 volt I'm running right now and I'm, I have to put 1800, which is the recommended one by uh, the NEC. You know, I can go 2000 watts on this. Um, I can only go 1800 on the the uh, Flex Max 60. So we can go now upgrading to this one. According to National Electric NEC code, is um, we can put. Um, uh, a thousand watt. Remember, on sixty is only nine hundred, so you can put a thousand watt into this one. Twenty-four volts is two thousand. Forty-eight volt is four thousand, and um, five thousand on sixty volt. So these are all the um, the stuff that um, that's why I decided to upgrade. So I can put more panels because the thing is I want to make sure that um, I'm getting all the high end uh, machine so that I can able to pump more power into my system if I wanted to when I decided to. So if I got a good deal, a good deal or so whatever to upgrade or I have the money to upgrade, I'll just do it because right now it might not be any beneficial to me if I don't want to put more panels, but I will able to utilize this thing trust me now or in the future or whatever these charge controllers have um or have a warranty for five years so um outback is standing by his uh, product and i just want to show you that um this machine can perform what he said so let's take the let's take this guy out and show you guys. I already opened the box and uh, was packaged right. And uh, see, 
this bad boy is a big boy it's an american ingenuity and uh, you guys can see we make some good stuff in america and also uh, the other part of the world they can produce some nice machines as well but i'm talking about this one here which is the flex max 80 for the outback power so right now what i'm gonna do um show you if you guys can see is a brand new machine you can see it's a 2017 that's the time it was uh manufactured and you guys can see the specs i was reading for you here a much panel is a flex max 80 um 150 volt dc from the array and the recommended voltage for this thing to run is 145 volt dc you cannot put 160 or 150 into this at all okay and uh, you guys can see the temperature the cautioning and all the good stuff you read it yourself and see what i'm saying flex max 80 there's a turbo fan right here it's different from the 60 if you look at it the 60 only from this height all the way down here the flex max 80 is the one that has the flex max uh, logo for the 60 you just have this one right here and this is the external fan you can see that kicks in for the turbo and this one can do a lot of stuff it's not as different as the um, the the flex max 60 the only thing is more we can take more power what um how many solar you can take and the amps as well but all the specifications are all the same you guys can see into my system I have a lot of outback almost 75% uh, of my machine is already have the outback the mate the hub and uh, remote and uh, all the temperature sensors so I'm just gonna plug this one back right in there and there is no much programming just transfer the old program into the new programming there's a PV the positive the negative the battery right there you see the aux auxiliary for for um you want to use a 12 or a relay or whatever and you guys can see the battery temperature sensor compensation up right there you guys can see that and that's why i put the uh, rj12 right here is going to be the rj45 which is for the mate with a yellow line right there see that that's for the mate that's why you plugged it in so it doesn't have that much to say and you have a, a ground log here at the ground so that you can ground your machine but i'm telling you folks it's beautiful made and uh i have all the stickers here and you guys can see all the good stuff about this machine so far so good this is what i have for you guys i hope you like the video please uh hit the thumbs up the the, the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bar and anytime i post a video you guys can be able to see it and uh thank you for watching i have a manual here and they already did a test and you guys can see all the tests it passed the test and all the good stuff so i have some um, knockout things that goes right here if you see so i can just take those knockouts this um, rubber uh, protector so you can put it right there because you don't want to cut the wires because the edges are kind of sharp so those are all pre prevention for uh the device not to you no know, so you can just um cause any arc or anything well this is the system i hope you like the video please uh stay tuned because it's going to be more um updates coming on this system and i uh, hope you guys can follow my video um and follow the test and uh let's see from here what we're going to do
And stay tuned. Like I said on the other video, more projects going to be coming up live from the command center here with the JW Solar USA. And um, expect another big thing coming up from the uh, channel. I'm not going to be saying things because I don't want to say things that and end up later. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't happen. But um, to be honest with you guys, more stuff going to happen this year. Stay tuned and you're going to be seeing more updates and upgrades live from the command center, JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching and have yourself a nice day. Bye for now.